Hello everyone, it's Food for Dogs and today I have a small surprise for you. I promised you a giveaway a long time ago, I think in my welcome video and today we're finally doing it. Uh, there is a reason for this because I need your help. Um, this is a bit of a test run. Uh, I want to see how we can do it on YouTube and Poodle Pa and I put a lot of thought into this and a lot of preparation because you don't want snags, you want things to run smoothly. So I hope you can spare five or ten minutes to watch this and maybe you feel like you want to participate. That would be great. Um, Poodle Pa and I need to prod and poke every little spoke and gear of this raffle wheel uh, to make sure that the process is as straightforward and transparent as we can make it. That's why I have chosen for this first test run giveaway two little Lego games. I'll show them uh, more in a moment. Um, as I mentioned in my welcome video, I've done many giveaways on Twitter and they were always fun events uh, with many people from the Vita community participating. Um, but the last giveaway sort of got out of hand um, with people flooding in whose only interest was grabbing a free game not even bothering to read the giveaway rules, etc. So I stopped doing giveaways for a while, um, but I do miss them, I have to say. Uh, I'm not just interested in attracting large numbers of random followers who only appear for giveaways, gripe when they don't win, and have no motivation to be a part of the community who share and enjoy things together. And that's, as you know, is what this channel is all about. So I thought I'll give it a go here, which we'll see how we go. The games are for this reason, low value, simple Lego games. So here are the two games I'm giving away today. As you can see, they're both in their uh, shrink wrap. They're obviously new games. That's how they came to me from my retailer. Um, I've, I've got my own copies, obviously. Um, I'm not, a, not hugely into Lego games. I have to say, I, I don't think I've ever played a Lego game properly before. So I thought, well, I... Better have to have some idea what they're like, and I loaded them up on my Vitas last night and had a bit of a play. Um, the first one is, this is actually um, my very first, my oldest Vita. As you can see, it's an OLED one. I got it back in 2013. And I have used it so much, it's beginning to go just a little bit grubby around the edges. Um, but it's still running as well as it did on day one. And I'm obviously very attached to it. And I have to say the Lego games look very bright and lovely on the OLED screen. So I started playing... Uh, Chima uh, last night and Poodle Pa will be able to confirm that I got I just got stuck into it and I didn't put the Vita down until 1am I stayed I stayed up far too late yeah so I, I've, I've found it a really charming little game it's got sort of anthropomorphic animals in it and the action is not too frantic. It's 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 just lovely. It's it's lovely to play. So either for children 
or for adults, doesn't really matter. But if you have children, well, I think Lego games are ideal. From what I hear, almost every child just adores Lego games. The other game I loaded up briefly, and I'll show you. Now, this is my uh, second Vita. This is the game Marvel Avengers. And this is the second Vita I bought, or rather, I have to say, Poodle Pa bought this one for me. He found it um, in, a, um, in one of our uh, New Zealand um, electronics shops at the time. I think it must have been around 2015. They were, they were getting rid of the Vitas, literally. They were selling them off at like 100, 150 US dollars new OLED Vita. So he grabbed one for me and I was just so excited. And I think that's where it all started, this Vita collecting thing. Um, uh, anyway, I used that one to set up a US account on it, which I have found a very useful to have access to games that I cannot get on my New Zealand account. So this is the Marvel Avengers game. I had a quick play of that and it is also very colourful, very nice graphics. The action is more frantic on this one, so this will suit people who like really, really fast action games. So um, the two games are, as I mentioned, uh, they're not expensive if you go out and try and buy them. And many of you will already have Lego games, I'm sure. Um, however, one thing I just wanted to point out, because that's important for us as Vita fans, that games that have strong licenses attached, like... Uh, like um, the Marvel Universe, anything to do with the cartoons, uh, Lego. They, these licenses often expire and then suddenly the license for the game uh, is taken off as well. And we have had that recently happen with one or two Lego games and of course other Vito games. I seem to remember that Lego The Hobbit uh, suddenly had the license revoked and it just literally overnight disappeared uh, from the PlayStation Network. So it's not available anymore digitally. And not surprisingly, very soon after, prices for the physical game uh, started uh, rising, going up quite a bit. That happens inevitably in those cases. So um, if you see a game you want, I always say get it because you don't know how long it's available for or whether it'll suddenly be much more expensive. Um, so these two games will be going to one of my subscribers and I will now just uh, briefly go through the rules of what how we're doing the giveaway. Uh, I'm putting all the information in the description, which is just below the video. If you can't see it, you may need to tap on that little triangle icon and then the ta text will unfold. <clears throat> so, um, I'll explain it briefly now because this is the first giveaway, so you may not be familiar with how I run things, especially if you are not on Twitter and don't follow me there. My giveaways are always worldwide. I post prizes by international airmail. No tracking, I'm afraid. It's far too expensive. And so far, all the packages I have posted to winners have all arrived without any problem and I have sent worldwide whether it's America, South America, Europe, Japan, Australia, I've posted everywhere. Who is eligible to take part in the giveaway? All my 196 subscribers as they are at the moment. That means 
no one else. So only you lucky people who've been uh, sitting here and watching my channel and wondering what's happening next. Um, my giveaways are really a thank you to you lovely people who hang around my cosy corner and sometimes chat with me. All you need to do if you want to participate is to post a comment right here. Say something like, I'm in or I'd like to enter, whatever you prefer. Um, tell me if you, um, just a second because I need my crib notes, I'm afraid. Um, tell me if you have already played any Lego games and what you think of them. That would be nice. I always request that people be considerate and if you already own the games, let someone else have a chance. This giveaway will finish 24 hours after this video goes up on the dot. I will then collate all the entries. We will do little cards with the names on them and they will go into this little red box. Then Poodle Pa will record me drawing the winner, blind obviously, and I will post the result video as soon as possible. Now one important issue is how do I contact the winner? On Twitter this wasn't an issue, but I can't see any easy messaging uh, system here on YouTube. So obviously do not post any of your personal information like an email address here. Don't do that. Um, that's obviously not a, a, a good way to go. So there are only two ways for me to contact a winner and you need to be aware of that if you enter the contest, the, the giveaway. The first one is Twitter, I'm afraid. It really is by far the easiest way for private messaging. I don't do Facebook, so please don't ask. Um, if you are already on Twitter, chances are you probably already follow me, in which case it's really straightforward and really easy and, and you'll know how it works. Um, if you're not on Twitter and do not want to be, then there's only one other way I can think of, and that is PlayStation messages. Anyone with a PlayStation console is very likely to have a PlayStation account, which means you can use PlayStation messages, and they work very well. I use them all the time, so it's really quite easy. Um, if you are the lucky winner, you simply send me a friend request on PlayStation to my PSN identity and I have posted that in the description below. Okay, are we all set? Oh, I wanted to talk a little bit about something different. You may be wondering why I've got this rather old red plastic box sitting here and there's a reason for that because Poodle Pa and I were wondering how do we um how do we sort of uh, shuffle the 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 cards with the names on them toss them about uh, and then for you know for me to to pick out one and at first we thought we'd use a, a yogurt bottle we've got nice big ones uh, and then suddenly today Poodle Pot turned up with this one and I said, oh, that is an old one. That really brought back some memories. As you can see, it's a very early Tupperware box. Now, there's a bit of history behind this. In fact, I would say this box could almost go into a museum. I bought it way back when I was a student and first started flatting 
obviously I needed something to keep food in the fridge. Uh, so I bought this. And that was at the time in Germany, this was quite a, a newish thing because Tupperware started in the United States in the 1960s and then slowly sort of spread to other countries and became popular there. And as you can see, this is the German version. And for some reason, I think the, the brand Melita uh, they do um, coffee filters, those paper filters. They must have acquired the license or something. They were doing them in Germany. And I tell you what, this box, which I must have bought in the very early 1970s, you can't kill it. This thing is indestructible. Um, so it's definitely adding to the plastics pile on, on our planet. Um, uh, but we have used it and still use it, and it, it's just marvellous. So uh, this brought back memories of my my first year uh, going to uni and, you know, using this sort of stuff. So we've got little um, cards prepared on which we can write down names, and then we can shuffle them in the box, and, and I can draw one. So I thought you might... This, a, this was a little bit of a... A blast from the past, a little bit of personal history here, all in an old Tupperware box. Um, I think that's all. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. But I think we're all set. So all I can say is good luck. And in 24 hours, I'll be drawing a winner. I'm Food for Dogs. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.